On to free parking for the happy hour in one of Buffalo's busiest business districts. If you want to shop or drink or get something to eat after 5 p.m. on Hurdle Avenue, be prepared now to feed the meter once again. Right now, you don't have to pay to park after 5 p.m. But soon, the city is going to push back the start time of free parking by four hours until 9 p.m. And two city lots which are free right now will not be that way for too much longer. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin live in our newsroom tonight with more on these parking changes. Liz? Yeah, that's right, Keith. Well, last week I told you that the city was increasing parking ticket fines, but it looks like in one North Buffalo neighborhood, meter prices are also on the rise. I stopped by Hurdle Avenue today to talk to some business owners and find out what they think about this new change. Next time you're driving down Hurdle Avenue in Buffalo, you'll want to pay closer attention to those parking signs. Come fall, they'll be changing. Starting in September, paid parking meter hours will be extended by four hours. Currently, drivers pay $1 an hour to park on Hurdle from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. With these new changes, drivers will be required to pay for parking from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday. What we're trying to do here is to encourage turnover in parking so that people are aren't uh, parking in spaces in late afternoon, paying a dollar or two, and uh, they're able to stay there all night long. That uh, discourages business. Ray Barker is the program director at North Park Theater and says as long as the city considers the individual needs of different businesses, he supports the new changes. I think that's when government works best is when you listen to businesses, you listen to uh, consumers and stakeholders so that we can have something that works if not for everybody, then for the vast majority of people in the neighborhood. But not everyone is as optimistic. Some drivers say these new changes are more of an inconvenience than anything else. It would be way easier to just go to Regal Elmwood than to here, which I would much rather go to North Park. Now, meanwhile, De Delaware District Councilman Joel Ferraletto told me that all of the revenue from this increase in parking meters will go right back into the Hurdle District. For now, I'm live in the newsroom, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you for the story tonight, Liz.